Welcome to Daily Coinka Crypto News. Here are today's headlines. South Korean crypto exchange Upbit is suspending withdrawals for unidentified users. Edward Snowden says, Bitcoin is getting stronger despite government raids. Hong Kong is exploring CBDC as part of its fintech strategy. Africans are starting to invest in cryptocurrencies to pay for their children's education. BitOasis cryptocurrency exchange is set to help Dubai police raise awareness of fraud. Now let's dive into the details of these. South Korean crypto exchange Upbit is suspending withdrawals for unidentified users. On October 2, the company officially announced changes to its customer verification system to meet mandatory Korean anti-money laundering AML, requirements. According to the announcement, Upbit will begin this week gradually restricting services to unverified users and preventing unverified customers from transacting more than 1 million Korean won $850 at a time. From October 6. Edward Snowden says, Bitcoin is getting stronger despite government raids. On Sunday, a former Central Intelligence Agency CIA, employee claimed that BTC had gotten more robust thanks to government bans and anti-crypto guidelines. The referential comments on Snowden's tweet were made on March 13, 2020, amid the turmoil of the Black Thursday decline that sparked a rebound in crypto and equity markets amid coronavirus pandemic concerns. Hong Kong is exploring CBDC as part of its fintech strategy. The Hong Kong Monetary Authority HKMA, today released an official report examining the potential of a retail-focused central bank digital currency CBDC, the Hong Kong Dollar Digital EHKD. According to the document, the HKMA will seek to understand potential architectures and design alternatives from a technical and regulatory point of view to create a two-tier system. The first is designed for a central bank that issues and acquires CBDCs and focuses second on the retail trade at commercial banks that sell RCBDC or CBDC-supported cryptocurrencies and put them into circulation. Africans are starting to invest in cryptocurrencies to pay for their children's education. Africans started investing in crypto to cover their children's education, and most of them are from Nigeria, Kenya, and South Africa. According to a recent survey, most crypto investors come from Nigeria, Kenya, and South Africa when entering the digital asset market with long-term goals like safeguarding their family lives. London-based company Luno surveyed 7,000 respondents from Nigeria, South Africa, the UK, Australia, Kenya, Indonesia, and Malaysia to determine their motivations for engaging in cryptocurrencies. BitOasis cryptocurrency exchange is set to help Dubai police raise awareness of fraud. BitOasis, a cryptocurrency exchange from the United Arab Emirates, has partnered with the Dubai police force to raise awareness of fraudulent practices related to trading and investing in cryptocurrencies. Unit to report suspicious transactions. The move to protect investors coincides with the decision by the UAE regulator to approve cryptocurrency trading in Dubai's DWTCA free zone on September 23. On the same day, BitOasis announced that it was linking its services to GoAML, a financial intelligence monitoring platform developed and operated by the UAE.